Hi Cancer, welcome to your December 2017 love reading. It's Raina here. I started shuffling the cards as I was talking so I could remember to do so. But I also want to let you know that I'm offering 20% off of all my readings through the end of December with the coupon code JUPITER, all caps, okay? And, oh, I hear a train coming by. <laughs> Sorry about that, but uh, that's just how it is when you're recording. So, anyway, I'm just keep shuffling. Interesting. I just got that card in the same position for um, Leo, and there's a card that reminds me of Leo, so I don't know if any of you have been dealing with Leos. Okay, I'm going to pick one more card just because the Ten of Swords is the final card. Oh, it looks like somebody who is an air sign. For you, um, as a Cancer, who would that most likely be? Uh, probably Libra. The other air signs are Gemini, which is right next to you, so I could see that as well, and Aquarius. Okay. Let me bring this one out because this is the past position. Past position, past for you, which in some cases this may be your future because uh, I'm recording this in mid-November. The Page of Pentacles is a card that can speak about a new job or some kind of a message where you are uh, hearing back from somebody, maybe an earth sign individual. So that is the Taurians out there, or the Virgos, or the Capricorns. And, um, but I, I don't know, I think there's some uh, work-related thing. Maybe it is a new job because the Queen of Wands, I don't know, um, this connects with the sign Leo. Or, but I know they say Sagittarius. So I guess it's also possible that this is timing issue because in December, a lot of the month is in Sagittarius, and uh, there's also planets in Sagittarius. But uh, let's look at let's look at um, the idea that if you are a person in a position of authority, and you may have had somebody under you come into the workplace recently, that's a possibility as well. Or um, I could see the Page of Pentacles uh, dealing with some kind of a contract, perhaps. In December, we have Mercury Retrograde, and that does, I think that connects with pages because it's about messages, messengers. Um, so maybe somebody coming from your past, and um, this has something to do with um, even a marriage issue because to me, the judgment... We do have the death card as well. Could point to a legal judgment. In in certain cases, this is a general reading, obviously. So we're looking at it from different angles. As I have been noting in other readings, I apologize if these particular readings seem more geared towards people with relationships. It's just something that is... It seems like with this, I designed this spread, so I think that it might just lend itself to that type of a scenario. Um, the judgment card deals with karma, and karma is action, past action that is yielding present results. 
It's not about punishment. It's just like cause and effect. So looking at some of the other things here, we may see, oh, and it looks like this, this card is connected to Gemini, and this is the challenge position. So um, maybe you're, <laughs> I don't know if this is going out on a limb here, but could it be that you are having an affair with somebody at work? And whatever is happening, it seems to me that uh, cancer people are undergoing a transition. And maybe, um, maybe that was the past position, so this already has transpired, and it led to your marriage dissolving. So maybe it's really like, what, where do we go from here? Um, if you are still involved with that person, you may be having second thoughts and say, you know, I thought that this person, I was going to spend my life with this person, but I'm not sure that this is the right person for me. And I really think that sometimes these relationships are mere, merely um, catalysts to get people to change their lives. And what the person does, if it's kind of like on the healthy side, even though I'm not, I'm definitely not a fan of infidelity whatsoever, but I also know that it exists. And I think that sometimes when people are in a place that they feel very um, stagnant and um, maybe in denial over what is happening in their, their life, that that person can kind of show the possibilities of how life can be, even if they turn out not to be the right one for the long term. Because um, that person may be even younger than you chronologically, and this is the challenge position. So what it's showing is this card connects to intimacy, not just sexual intimacy, but but actual emotional intimacy, and it's in the challenge position. So it could be that the relationship was just like a physical fling, but it is like um, somewhat of a um, jumping off point for you to explore what you really want. And maybe that was part of the reason that it, it came about is that that was what it was there for. But, you know, cancers tend to kind of get emotionally involved with a person. And it probably is very hard for you to, once you get involved, to just kind of like turn it off. So that may be what's going on is that you, and who knows, maybe you're really not even in love with that person, but you just become emotionally attached to them anyway. And things, maybe you thought, okay, now I'm divorced, now I'm available, and then all of a sudden you realize that everything has changed. And um, you thought that person was going to be the one, and now you're not so sure. And if this scenario doesn't even really apply to you, there might be something in it that connects to your situation in a different way. Like, for instance, being attracted to a younger colleague and realizing, maybe you don't even have an affair, but you realize that there's something wrong in your marriage. Maybe you even felt guilt over it. And said, what's wrong with me? Why am I feeling like this? And then it gives you the understanding that things have been wrong in your marriage for a long time. But the death card is right here in the middle. And that is the spiritual component in all of this. And it's about accepting what death represents. Death represents change, transition, and irrevocable change. So in other words, it's not a question of, in some of your 
marriage situation is not a question of making it better. You may have tried to make it better and it just isn't working. And it's about accepting that and moving on, not clinging to the past. What is coming in, sometimes this is advice, is represented by the chariot, which is your card. One thing it could be saying, because on January 1st, and that's right after December, there's going to be a full moon in Cancer, 11 degrees of Cancer. So we start the year with the Cancer full moon. For Cancers, this could be telling you, okay, 2018 is here. And you are on the very first day of the year experiencing a major ending and a way of being. And that may be like, um, and that's really, I think that's really cool because then you know you can start with a fresh slate at the very beginning of the year. So the other thing about this card as advice is uh, maybe try meditation because this is a card that could relate to having scattered thoughts. I mean, it's about learning how to have mastery over um, a lot of distractions and be one pointed in your mind. And so maybe speaking of how to do that, because in order to navigate change, you have to really be aware of what it means and not be emotionally drained, which cancers can become because you're a water sign and you feel your way through life. You don't think your way through life like an air sign. Um, the outcome, and this could be like a, a Gemini person who is kind of um, not a good influence on you. The outcome is a Ten of Swords, okay? So something has happened that feels like um, a an ending, but there's a, a component in this that relates to feeling betrayed. So I'm wondering if this Queen of Wands is actually someone that your partner has been cheating on. Maybe the Page of Pentacles was you finding out some kind of correspondence it, even though it's, um, or, or, or that was a new job of your spouse, that's also a possibility, and that's where they met this person, and, um, and they've kind of uh, made their bed, but you have to hit that bottom where you're able to get out of denial over it. I don't know. It's very interesting because I was going with the premise that this was all about you, and now I'm wondering if perhaps you were the one that got um, blindsided and that that Queen of Wands was a person that your partner was unfaithful with. So if the person is a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, but somebody who might even be like a supervisor, a female supervisor. <clears throat> and I picked a, an additional card, and this is the King of Swords. So this is about, sometimes this is like the judge with the judgment, um, making that decision. Or about you marshalling your forces to be able to recover from this situation. My feeling with the death card as the, the spiritual message is that this was inevitable. This has, you know, that queen of wands might have actually been the catalyst. And you might be tempted to blame this person. But she is just was just a symptom of the problem. She wasn't the problem itself. So, yeah, I mean, and that took an interesting turn. Hopefully there are a few people out there that um, felt that it described their situation to some extent. But uh, anyway, I wish you all the best in December, Cancer. Bye.